Hello, geeks and gamers, and welcome back to Mio 2. Almost said Final Fantasy. No, we're, we're, this is Mio 2. Um, in the last episode, uh, what I had hoped to be us getting to the boss didn't play out because another little side area opened up here, so we knocked out that side area. Uh, but I did notice there was another path back here. So we're going to try to sneak by the rat guy that I just saw. And head this way. Ah, I knew there was a Kodama back here. Can't have very many, uh, very many more for this level. I've picked up quite a few. But hopefully in this episode we do get to the boss. And hopefully he's not too much of a pain. And we can beat him in this episode. <laughs> Hey there, Walt. Okay, where is the guitar player, lute player, whatever the hell, banjo player? He's way over there. Mm. All right. Um, his, his eyes are particularly red. So let's try to... Nope, he does not like that. Alright. Nope. Bad wall. Ow! Slap. Top off real quick. Oh, I did it too late. Yep. Right, not too bad. Just took a few hits. What's back here? Is that what was that potatoes? some weird nondescript fruit or vegetables I really wish I could just make my clothes poof on and off like that What else can I? Oh, God, there's a rat. Let's see if I can. Oh, shit. And. Oh, shit. He got up faster than I thought. Oh, no. There's a cannon. Wow. The, the rat really didn't take any notice of me? So a yeah. Try grab this. I love that that just, just a little bitch kick. It does so much stamina damage. Uh, let's check out. That was a purple set. I mean, I'd rather, I'd rather just I'd keep the bonuses that the set gives. And at some point I'm going to have to replace it because it's just going to get... Nope, now he's too far away. Oh no. <laughs> oh, damn it. Screw off rat and try to kill the gaggy. Great. Yep. 
I think I'm starting to learn how to uh, fight them pretty all right now. I think my weak link is still, as far as the new enemies, the chicken ladies. Okay, is that... Oh, see, I... Whoa. I don't know what happened there. See, I probably wouldn't have been able to just go this way anyway. Yeah, that door is locked. Okay, so the summoner's candle, why not? I don't use them too often. I know I did in, like, the, uh, higher difficulties in, um, Neo 1. I would frequently run out of them in Neo 1 because I would die to something and then want those, that Emrita back. Is this also another... Shit. There's so many pathways. How do I get to that side? Do I just follow this around? Doesn't seem like it. Hmm. Oh. Whatever. I say let's uh, go ahead and head into the boss room. See what's going on in here. Let's set up real quick. Is it Psyka? I bet it's Psyka. Well, if he still fights the same, I am kunaiing him straight out of the air. Yep, yep, it's him. Don't shoot me in the back, you dick. By more than just the goat. Nope, he doesn't. Oh, he does. Oh, but he recovers quick. Yeah, he recovers. They they made it to where you can't do the uh, the what you can in the first game. Cause yeah, in the first game, for anybody that doesn't know. Whenever you fight him, you can, uh, when he's in the air like that, you can knock him out of the air, and he'll be stunned for a second, and you can get a, uh, you can, um, stab him on the ground and do a, a crap ton of damage. Makes his, uh, his boss fight largely, uh, quite easy. But he also has a tendency to do shit like that, where he will jump into the air and then disappear, and... Your targeting reticule will jump off of it. Okay, you're starting to get some new tactics going. He jumped off. No, what? Oh, you dick. Let's see if I can get that set up again.
Oh shit, that did some damage. Heal up real quick. That was probably not the best time to do that, but oh well. You know what? Ah, let's go ahead and transform. We're at about the halfway point. Let's see if we can start fucking him up a little bit. Get your ass down here. Wow, that did nothing. Great. That dick. I don't know what the timing is for that, like, at all. started to get a bit harder as the fight has gone on. I have no idea what the timing is. I kinda don't think I'm beating him first try. They, uh, they take away your cheese tactic. So now, you know, I gotta fight you actually straight up. Uh, I don't... I don't know how much... Like, in the way of... Saying I don't know how much in the way of uh, projectiles that I have that I might be able to knock them out of the air some more. That it really matters for this fight. You son of a bitch. Dude, lock onto him. Jesus. Sir. Oh, bitch and a half. There we go. Except that did literally no damage. Holy crap. Oh, oh my. I I feel cheated. I feel like my um repost there did like hardly any damage to him. I'm really hoping this isn't going to turn into a fight that's going to take a while.
wow, yeah, we're both fantastic at aiming. No, oh, you bitch! Ah, shit. Glad I ran into all three of those for you. Okay, so, uh, I guess first fight was just a fluke? That I caught him that low? Try it again. Oh, I dodged. How the... He... Oh. I do not like you, Psyka. Okay, so I can... Uh, I can use the poles to kind of help me guard if I really need to. That'd be great if, like, his little fireballs hurt him. No! Did he hit me with, like, splash damage? seem to, like, get any kind of stamina regeneration. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Get out of the air, dick. I don't know why I keep trying that every single time he goes directly underneath me. even know if there is a counter for that like I feel like there's got oh get fucked I feel like there's got to be a proper counter time and I just don't know what it is I don't know if maybe it's whenever he actually shoots out the little flaming circles It's looking like he might be the second ever boss fight to make me... Uh, God damn, can you start off not being brutal? Get your ass out of the air. I also just feel like I'm doing no damage to him, like, at all. I'm barely tickling his health bar. Yeah. 
repair it. <laughs> yeah, just... I'm sorry, did you just shoot through the pillar? Yeah, no, no point. I'm gonna give him a couple more tries. I, I don't... I don't foresee this going too much... You know what, I'm actually, I'm gonna use a Summoner's Candle. Um... I don't... I don't, I don't see this... particularly... going too well for me. In the sense that, uh, I'm gonna suddenly beat him, but I can. Um... And if that's the case, then I will probably start off episode two with like an introduction and then go into, um, you know, showing you guys like the fast forward fight and all that, getting to the point where I actually beat him. Yep. are made of bitch. Okay, I mean, that was some pretty good damage. Where is the absolute dick? Oh, I forgot to top off on HP items. I just don't know what that counter is. Ah, oh, you bitch! Fuck you! Fuck you and your bird. Okay. Okay. One more try. And I forgot to top off on freaking healing items again. Okay, you're you're just being an asshole now. understand why sometimes I hit him, and other times my sword seems to go right through him. Oh look, I actually hit him that time. See, like right there. He was right in front of me, and somehow my sword just slightly missed him. Like sometimes, like that little dodge roll that he just did there. Okay, I'm with you. Like, yeah, clearly he dodged that.
gun, it doesn't help that his gun, when I block, it does a ridiculous amount of stamina damage. Which is partly the reason why I'm finding myself not really being able to stamina maintain in this fight. Alright, well, we're gonna go ahead and end this episode off, and like I said, the beginning of the next episode, I will be, um, I'll do an introduction, uh, and then we'll probably just go straight into the fight montage of me trying to beat this guy. You know, apparently he's right up there with Snake Bro, so, if you did enjoy... Uh, watching me get my ass kicked this episode, then as always, be sure to do those things that we YouTubers ask you to do. And until next time, game on.